Hey, Ecclesia, it's been a big day today for our nation. And in light of that, and just the recent events that have transpired in our country, our leadership felt like it was important to put forth a statement for you. And so I'm gonna read that now. Recent events and the tension of the last few weeks has highlighted the division and polarization of our communities and our nation. Followers of Jesus have been caught up in this division, spreading misinformation and attacking other Jesus followers with inflammatory language. Satan has found a way to use politics to drive a wedge into the church, taking our focus off Jesus and his mission to make disciples. Sadly, this has even impacted Ecclesia. For this reason, we, the elders of Ecclesia, call upon our church to look again at our core values and consider them in light of the contentious and polarized political climate in which we find ourselves in. We will glorify Jesus. We will glorify Jesus. We will lift the name of Jesus to this world. We do not glorify a nation, a political party, nor a political leader. We are committed to Jesus and loyalty to him supersedes any loyalty to a country, party, platform, or earthly ruler. We will proclaim the gospel. We affirm that the gospel is the only ultimate hope for our nation, our community, and our neighbors. We pray and work for justice, peace, and the welfare of our nation. However, we believe that perfect welfare, justice, and peace comes through people knowing and trusting in Jesus and his death and resurrection. Therefore, we do not want to say or do anything which will create a barrier to the gospel message or which will confuse people about the ultimate hope of Jesus. We will not equate political policies or ideologies with the importance of the gospel. We will love one another. The world will know us by our love. Therefore, we will defend one another, bear with one another, give the benefit of the doubt to one another, even when we disagree on political matters. We are united to one another, not because of our shared political ideology, but because we are brothers and sisters in Christ. Furthermore, Jesus calls on us to love and to pray for our enemies rather than to seek vengeance. We will be led by the Spirit. We will be led by the Spirit who creates in us the fruits of the Spirit. Love, patience, gentleness, and self-control. We will not be led by those who sow the fruits of the flesh, enmity, rivalries, dissensions, and division. Those led by the Spirit do not condone violence for, for Christ's kingdom is not of this world. We will walk in truth. Truth is found in the word of God. Therefore, we will seek truth by reading, studying, and applying the scriptures. We will not naively buy into the narratives promoted by worldly philosophers or pundits, but from the eternal truths found in the Bible. We humbly seek truth without holding on to our preconceived ideas. We will boldly speak the truth in love to one another, especially when the truth contradicts political or cultural leaders. We will pursue excellence. We want better for ourselves and for our church than what the world offers. We want our witness as a church to be as a city on a hill which shines the light of Jesus and the gospel. We want to be a community passionately following our Lord and Savior. We will be single focused on that pursuit and will not let politics turn us aside from what God has called us to. As we kind of close this time together, I want to pray for our new president and those in leadership. Join with me now. God, we just pray as today represents change. And Lord, we have a new leader. God, I just pray that you would work in this leader, that God, you would soften his heart, Lord, to the things that are important to you, that God, he would seek you, 
that, Lord, you would give him wisdom, understanding, discernment to lead our country. God, I pray that you would just guard our hearts and our minds from anything that is contradictory to who you are, to your nature. Lord, I pray that, that God, we would, we would continue to pray for our leaders. Lord, I pray that we would continue to remind ourselves that regardless of whether we agree or disagree, you are sovereign over it all. You are good. You are love. And so, Lord, we can rest in your control. And, Lord, we can have peace in the midst of all of this because you're our Savior, because your finished work has already been accomplished. And so we rest in you now. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you guys.